Ang sabi ng Biblia, but it displeased Jonah exceedingly and he was very angry. Jonah was displeased because the people repented of their sins. Hindi natuwa si Jonah dahil yung mga tao ay nagsisi. In fact, hindi lang siya hindi natuwa kundi siya pa ay nagalit. Ang sabi niya sa verse number 2, And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore, I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew, sabi ni Jonah, kaya ako nagpakalayo-layo, kaya pumunta ako sa opposite direction, three times farther, and sabi ni Jonah, for I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repentest thee of the evil. Jonah knew na kapag yung mga tao lumapit sa Diyos, papatawarin ng Panginoon. Jonah knew na kapag ang tao may pangailangan at lumapit sa kanya, binibigyan ng Diyos because He is a gracious God. Jonah knew na kapag ang mga tao nagkakasala, ang Panginoon ay merciful. Maawain ng Diyos. By the way, I entitled this message, Don't be pouty, have pity. Number one is Jonah's sentiment. At makikita natin dito ang sabi ni Jonah sa verse number three. He was angry, he was not happy, kung ano yung nangyari, he was really disappointed. And in verse number three, Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me. For it is better for me to die than to live. Jonah was sitting there and wanting to die. Sabi ni Jonah, Lord, it is better for me to die than to live. Jonah was really focusing too much on his sentiments. Or may I say, he was focusing too much on himself, on his feelings, that he never considered the will of God for the people in Nineveh. Could you imagine? A whole city repented from their sins. The Bible says, Now over one sinner, the heaven is rejoicing. One sinner. And the Bible says that there's at least 100,000 people in that city who repented of their sins. Could you imagine na yung langit ay nagre-rejoice? over one soul and instead of rejoicing Jonah was pouting napakaraming mga bagay sa buhay po natin ang dapat natin ipag-rejoice ang dapat natin ikasaya pero masyado tayong focus someone said we are missing the whole forest because we are too focused looking at our tree meron lang tayong isang maliit na puno Hindi mo nakita yung buong forest. We focus too much on our tree. Christians, napakaraming mga bagay na napakaganda sa buhay natin. And we're missing out. Sa halip na tayo nagre-rejoice, sa halip na dapat tayo ay naglulundagan sa tuwa, you means we are too consumed of our emotions na hindi natin nakikita yung bigger picture. Si Jonah, na yung mga tao, isang buong City ang nagrepent because of his preaching and he was there pouting, nagmumukmok. Sana magising tayo mula sa ating pagkakatulog na makita natin ang katotohanan ng buhay na napakarami nating mga bagay na dapat ipagpasalamat sa Diyos. Pero minsan nagkoconcentrate tayo sa maliit na bagay na namimiss natin yung mga bagay na dapat na ipag-celebrate natin at ipagpuri natin sa ating Panginoon. Number two, look at Jonah's self-centeredness. So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made him a booth and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a gourd and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceedingly glad of the gourd. Ang Panginoon punong-puno talaga ng biyaya. Nagpatubo ng gourd, nagpatubo siya ng vine. Tapos nagtakip kay Jonah para hindi mahirapan, para hindi mainitan itong si Jonah. Did Jonah deserve the gourd? Of course not. Yung sa attitude na yon. Pero nakikita niyo ba yung kabutihan ng Panginoon? 
tayo ba, do we deserve the comfort that we have now? Do we deserve the blessings na natatanggap at na enjoy natin? Do we deserve the victories na ating na-enjoy? Of course not. Those are blessings from God na dapat natin pagpasalamat sa araw-araw. Alam nyo, nakikita ko dito sa buhay ni Jonah, he was hit really hard by depression. This is our problem. We assume that when we are following the Lord, dapat lahat magiging mabuti. Dapat lahat magiging maganda. Dapat lahat ng gusto natin nangyayari. Kaya yun ang nangyayari kay Jonah. Akala niya kapag sumusun sa Panginoon, dapat lahat ng gusto niya, yun ang nangyayari. Sabi ng Panginoon, that's not your goal. It is mine to control. Sa buhay natin minsan, kapag meron natanggal ang Panginoon, sometimes we get angry. Kapag yung comfort natatouch, minsan nagagalit tayo. This is the body of Christ. This is Christ Church. He is the head. At kung ano yung gusto ng Biblia, salta ng Panginoon, yun ang mangyayari.